is Amos and welcome back to Backpacker Diaries. It's May 2019 and I just wanted to take a minute to acknowledge a very important event in US history. It was 150 years ago this month in 1869 when the American West was opened up with the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. There's a spot up in northern Utah called Promontory Point, outside of Tremonton, where the last lines of track were laid, and the crew working from the west met the crew working from the east. After some time, the track was rerouted to cross the northern side of the Great Salt Lake and avoid the steep uphill grade that's required to get up and over Promontory Point. But a Golden Spike National Monument still lives on to this day. Golden Spike National Monument has a really neat reenactment several times a day, demonstrating how the trains came together from each side to meet in the middle and celebrate the monumental achievement of engineering and perseverance here in American history. It was May 10th, 1869, when those railroad builders met in the middle finally, with the government subsidies sort of motivating both companies to build faster and connect the two sides, the west to the east, by rail. Both sides were building furiously to sort of capitalize the most on what eventually became the Transcontinental Railroad here in the United States. Mormon settlements in the Salt Lake City area up until that time were still relatively isolated with how much effort it took to expand west on wagon trains typically. But the Transcontinental Railroad changed all that being only 45 minutes or so outside of Ogden, Utah. The Transcontinental Railroad gave way to a flood of passenger traffic that increased the non-Mormon population in the Salt Lake City area as well as other parts of Utah. And changed so much else across the West, effectively shortening the westbound trip to the West Coast to a matter of days by train instead of a matter of months overland by wagon. As was the case with so many on the Oregon Trail as well as those heading to the California Gold Rush earlier in the 1800s. And so that brings us here to Promontory Point where the Transcontinental Railroad was originally joined together. Stone abutments are actually pretty easy to see over the last hurdle presented from the eastern crew headed westbound. So, why are we here? We are here because the Transcontinental Railroad was completed here. Uh, the ceremony date was 
uh, May 10, 1869. It was the spot where they completed it. It was right behind me. You see the Laurelwood um, railroad tie back there. There's a plaque on it. After the presentation is done, you're welcome to go walk up and take pictures of that if you'd like, but not now. visited many of the National Historic Sites, but was definitely impressed by the presentation there at uh, Golden Spike National Historic Site. There's a pretty long list of videos available to watch there, not just in the auditorium, but in a little sort of supplementary, pretty big screen there. So in this video, I just wanted to pay a little tribute to the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad 150 years ago in May of 1869. And I would encourage any one of you that has any interest in American history or trains in general to visit the Golden Spike National Monument in Promontory Point, Utah, outside of Tremonton. And while we're talking about American West history, I could definitely recommend a documentary on Netflix. It's uh, the Ken Burns series that he did with another filmmaker called The West that documents the 1800s in a very engaging way if you have any interest in American history or the American West. It's definitely worth a look. That's all for now. See you next time.